Good morning, everyone. It is a terrific Tuesday. That's right. This is Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Pallara. So happy to be with you. We have such a great show. Um, you know what I love is we kind of do a little variety of everything, news you can use. So we've got gift ideas for you. We've got a really cool story about a brand new company that's going to tell you how to avoid Atlanta traffic that's coming up. It's just it's just a lot of fun. But of course, we kick it off each and every day with good news and stories that make you smile. And they're beautifully, beautifully told by the one and only Kara Kinnear. And you know, being a storyteller is is a real gift. It's a real art. My mom, my mom has that Kara Kinnear. <laughs> However, Violet stories can get real, real, real she, long. You know what I'm saying? And the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. But you, my friend, you know how to nail it. You get she, into the heart of it. We cry, we laugh, and then we're on to the next. It's, it's something. Mm. It is. I try. I love a story by Miss Violet. You know, that's one of my favorite Thanksgivings of my entire life was sitting right next to your mother and hearing many stories. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, we try to start yeah. you off every morning with some good Chatterbox. stories to start your day and you start off my morning in my ear and I just, I love you for it. All right, um, if you notice, I, well you can't see, but I'm in a little bit of a different location. Sign that my son did yes. back here and he wants everyone to know, everyone, it's all good. All right, so let's start the morning with our first story. It so is, go good job. The highlight here in this segment. It is, and um, our first one is about a young little lady named Lucy, and Lucy learned to sew at the age of six, so she's already oh, overachieving Lucy. because I barely know how to sew, and I'm almost 40 years old, but good job for Lucy. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> learns how to sew. Um, a few years ago, when she was nine, she had to go to the emergency room because she had an asthma attack, and she was in the hospital, and she thought, you know what, there oh. are no pillows here, no quilts, no blankets, no levies, no stuffed animals. I really right. think it would be important for kids who are here to have a little bit of comfort and adults alike. So when Lucy got home from the hospital, she started sewing. And with the help of her mother and her grandmother, she has since sewn over a thousand quilts, stuffed animals, blankets, and given them to those in need, hospitals, shelters, any place that wow. would take them, uh, providing a little bit of comfort for those who need it, especially in uh, probably a vulnerable time in their life. Um, I love this article. I would so suggest you right. find it on our website and read it because she uh, is, yeah. it's peppered with, with so many good things. She said, Lucy said, uh, at the tender age of 11, she said, you know what is my superpower? Kindness is my superpower. And her mother said once she started giving that she couldn't stop giving and that she has 10 hearts in place of her one heart. So just a sweet story of a little lady doing the most good. We love that. Yeah, and Kara, if you've ever been to the ER or, you know, obviously even in just the hospital and the waiting, every, you know, you're, it's cold, you're uncomfortable, you know, and it, for little kids, I can't even imagine you know, feeling scared, feeling alone, and having that reassurance of something warm and cuddly. Um, I'll make sure and read that because, to be quite honest with you, Kate has way too many stuffed animals, and we need to find some good homes for them if they, if they take uh, gently used stuff as well. So we'll make sure Trent posts that article. Thank you for that. And thank you, Lucy. Your, your mom yeah. and your grandparents, they raised you right. What a sweetie. Yeah. I know. Right? That's exactly so what I amazing. thought when I was reading it. I thought, what a way for her to connect the dots, too. I mean, to be in there in a vulnerable position, like you just said herself, but... Wanting to give back. I think you'll love it, that I think it's something that we can all relate to. A uh, uh, year, a rough especially for a woman named Barbara, and I want to tell you her story. So a few years ago, she was a case manager at a homeless shelter. She lost her job. In February, her last living relative died, her brother. And then in March of this year, we all know the world <sighs> Poor changed thing. forever. So she found herself grieving alone. Her church doors closed. Uh, and, and she was she was really worried about the amount of bills she had piling up. And even though she owned her condo, she thought, you know what, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay here the next month. So she was taking a walk one day. She happened to go by this yoga studio and saw a young man standing outside next to a food pantry. And he looked at her and he said, you know what, this is a judgment-free zone. If you're hungry, please take something. And she said they started talking. And uh. here's what she found out about this young man named Tree. 
He actually himself was unemployed. He lost his job at the start of COVID. And according to Tree, he said he laid around and watched Netflix for a few weeks. And then he said, you know what? I'm going to do something. So he started a nonprofit called Good. With Kindness DC. And what it does is it helps people in need. So he started this food pantry, struck up this relationship with Barbara, and the two of them together have formed such a great relationship. That <clears throat> finished pay her bills to be able to stay in her home so she was not put out on the street. Yes. And I love this. This is a sweet ending to a chance meeting. So Barbara made him cookies as a thank you. And he said, you know what? We're going to start this into a business. So that's what they did. They're now selling cookies. Oh. Um, you can actually buy some of Barbara's cookies. She'll ship them mm -hmm. to you from D.C. You can call or text. Write this down, Christine. 202-288-8618. And we'll put that information on our website uh, along with um, the address D.C. and Trees Nonprofit. So check all the if you are looking for some place to help. Thanks, Kara. That's incredible. There are so many amazing <laughs> layers to that story. And at the end of the day, I'm going to get some cookies and know that it's going back to a great cause. This is unbelievable. Thank you, Kara, my love. Guys, if you have a fun or interesting It's All Good Story for, share it with us. It's facebook.com slash ATL Co. Or tweet us using that hashtag, It's All Good. It certainly is.